What's going to happen over the next few years is that gas stations will start taking out one or two pumps. I don't. I want I want chargers everywhere. I want a charger on every corner. I want three chargers at, or four chargers or more at every gas station. Make it easy as possible to charge, right? All right, our next story of the day. All of Tesla's rivals have decided to gang up on them. And I can't blame them because Tesla is doing something right and that's selling EVs when nobody else can. Now, if you're just tuning in, my name is Christopher Yule and we cover the biggest headlines of the day about what the AI trading data says and uh, what matters most to your wallet. And if you're interested in that too, be sure to definitely hit the subscribe button down below. Now start trading with AI, go to ovtlyr.com to see why outliers win. Now back to the story, BMW, Ford, and Honda agree to create Charge Space, or Charge Scape, a new company focused on optimizing electric vehicle grid services. So I'm a Tesla owner, and let me, let me share with you some of my experience with owning a Tesla. Plugging in at home every night is fantastic. It's just like plugging in your phone. It's just a habit, you get used to it, and then when you go out every morning, your car is fully charged up. It's awesome, right? Imagine if your old gas guzzler had a gas pump that you could stick in every night, and then every morning you come out and it's ready to go. That's actually a really awesome feeling. I love that. Um, second, I've used uh, superchargers a few times, and I've gone on road trips already, and the supercharger network is freaking awesome. You roll up, you don't even have to pull out your credit card, you roll up, you grab the handle, you stick it straight in your car, and you go in, grab yourself a drink, use the restroom, browse the store a little bit, you come back out, it charged at a thousand miles an hour, so for that 10 minutes you got out of the car, which is basically the same as what you do at a gas station already, you just added, I don't know, 45 miles, not 45, more like 150, 40, 145 miles, there we go in the span of just a few minutes. So it's really, really exceptional, the grid. Now I will say there are a few drawbacks, right? They're not everywhere, they're not ubiquitous. And I've told my son this, that I think what's going to happen over the next few years is that gas stations will start taking out one or two pumps and start replacing them with these superchargers, right? Because the uh, even, uh, I believe it was Ford and GM and a few other auto man manufacturers have already committed to the fact that they're gonna use a North American charging standard for the plugs, which is basically the Tesla outlet, which we needed. We needed to have some sort of standardization. There's no reason to have multiple different plugs for EVs, right? You don't have multiple different plugs when you go fuel your vehicle, you got diesel and you got gas, right? And most of the time, it's just gas pumps everywhere. Diesels are, are much less common than gas pumps. So it's really easy. You just roll up to any pump, boom, boom, good to go. Now, BMW, Ford, and Honda are basically saying that, hey, then we're gonna come up with that. We're gonna come up with that um, that solution. Chargescape will aim to unlock the full potential of electric EV technology through conveniently managed energy services never before possible with gasoline-powered vehicles. And in fact, let me tell you another story. When uh, when I take my, my two sons to karate, uh, it's right next to a Kohl's, and this Kohl's has free chargers right out front. And every time I get there, my, my kids walk into karate, I plug in the uh, the car, then I go in and, and watch them kick some butt. And it's just like having free gallons of gas lying around. That's the equivalent, right? And it's such a cool experience to roll up somewhere, plug in your car, charge it up for free, and then go on with your day. And it costs so much less to fill up. My, my, my Tesla Model Y costs about seven to eight bucks, depending on where you go, to fill up from zero to 100. Now, if it's at a supercharger, it costs a little bit more, but at home, from zero to 100, eight bucks, right? So it's, it's outstanding how easy it is to live with an electric vehicle. And they wanna seamlessly connect electric utility automakers to their interested EV customers to manage energy usage for a broad pool of EVs. So in a nutshell, BMW, Ford, and Honda are taking what Tesla's already doing and improving upon it and hopefully expanding the grid. But I will tell you the one drawback is on these public chargers, sometimes they really suck. The other day I went to a charger and they had both a Tesla charger and a CCS charger there, and they were both literally broken. I don't mean like they didn't function. I mean someone came in and vandalized them, kind of broken. And they've got to get, they've got to figure that out, right? You're not rolling up to gas pumps and seeing them all vandalized. Um, and most of the time, the Tesla superchargers are not vandalized. They've got people who are like taking care of them. And I think that that's what um, this partnership is looking to do, is take the existing infrastructure, improve upon it, and make it so the experience is way better 
than what we have today, which if you own a Tesla, it's actually pretty awesome already. Speaking of Tesla, let's go look at the AI data. We actually have a buy signal on Tesla back on August 31st. So the AI data is saying, you know what? Don't be too scared if you're a Tesla shareholder or if you're interested in buying more, this could be an opportune time to, to do so. So go to ovtlyr.com to learn more about this AI trading data. And let's go see what people are saying in the comments about this. Um, the, they're coming for Tesla, right? They're, they're ganging up. They're coming. This person says, whoa, uh, their resistance is futile, right? Uh, let's see. Isn't it good that multiple companies are working together to make charging grids more accessible? Exactly. That's my opinion, right? You get a choice of cars from different companies. Why do Tesla fanboys just want a monopoly on these? I don't. I want, I want chargers everywhere. I want a charger on every corner. I want three chargers at, or four chargers or more at every gas station. Make it easy as possible to charge, right? Might as well be a coalition against Tesla. And you know what? A lot of people have said they need to lock Elon up. I don't know about that. I think Elon is actually the Henry Ford of our generation. I'm pretty grateful for pretty smart people like him. So if you are too, make sure to hit the like button down below and let us know in the comments what you think of what's going on with these new chargers. So if you've enjoyed that video today, be sure to click one of these two. YouTube thinks you're going to love them. All right. And that's going to cover everything for today's Outlier Live. Thanks so much for watching.